Now that we're here, we're going to introduce our panel of judges just so that I can see them and acknowledge them and they can stand up and maybe give everyone a wave to let everyone know who they are as well. Uh, he's a major shareholder in it, he's a personal friend, he's an entrepreneur, he runs a lot of very, very large organisation around about the world. But uh, can we please hear it for Paul Burkett, who's the first initial judge here. Thank you very much. Miss Earth Australia 2013 and successful businesswoman in her own right and a very good friend of mine, Miss Renira Thompson. <laughs> Next we have Patrick John Asanga, who is again a successful entrepreneur, does um, branding marketing for such top label brands such as Vera Wang here in Australia. Um, also a famed pageant critic and has been a critic of mine in the past as well and I was petrified to meet him but I'm very honoured he's here because I very much trust his opinion and judgement on tonight. So please stand up and make, may everyone make Patrick welcome. <laughs> has sponsored some beautiful lip glosses for the girls, um, is a charity ambassador for ovarian cancer in Australia and a whole host of other things that are too lengthy to mention. Please stand up, Kate Johnson. Miss Earth Australia 2011, we have Miss Lebanon Australia 2012 who then went to represent Australia internationally again and then she competed in Miss Australia International, won that and represented Australia overseas in the US earlier this year again for Australia. Please make welcome a really good friend of mine, Didi Zubara. advocating for fair work rights and fair pay for models, among many other things as well. Um, please welcome Mr. Dean Mazzola. We have uh, one of the sponsors again of tonight. Um, he works for Ventus here in Australia, which is a ventilation company responsible for halving the energy bills in a lot of the eastern states. Please make welcome Mr. Dave Kennedy. She competed in Miss World Australia in 2013. Please make welcome Miss Stephanie Hunt. Yeah, this was the girl who won in 2009 and represented Australia overseas in the Philippines. And then when I won in 2010, passed her crown on to me. So I thank you very much for the journey that you've enabled me to go on as well. Please stand up and make welcome Melinda Heffernan. So I do believe there's one chair left. Over the last three days, we have had a spy. One of the contestants is actually a judge. Should we tell them? We should tell them. Please make welcome to the judging panel, Miss Jackie Gricking. <laughs> Those faces not priceless. Now I'm four, five seconds from wilding. We got three more days to Friday. Make it back home by Monday morning. I swear, if somebody would tell me, oh, it's all I Awards are malfunction, but everything is sorted out. So 
words. It's in, 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 I'm going to start that again. It's indescribable. That's what I was trying to say. <laughs> Get him my photos taken. Gosh, always with the camera. This <laughs> You like the hair? You guys been seeing me all week with my extensions on and now some crazy stuff. <laughs> Tonight is, and can we have a massive round of applause for Teresa, please? To the swimwear award goes to yeah. Diana. Tani, how are you? Well done for making it through. Thank you. My question to you is, uh, what's the one action you can do tomorrow to make a difference to Australian homes, to make them more environmentally friendly? Try and buy whole foods and reduce your processed foods and it will make a massive impact on the environment. Get back to education. Go to the grassroots. Get into the children. Change their ways and we can ensure that within the household, our environment is a lot more friendly. Countries like Singapore and Malaysia are experiencing very high level of haze due to Indonesia burning rainforests to expand plantations. This has destroyed habitats for endangered species and become a critical factor in climate change. As Miss Earth, what would be your solution to this very real environmental problem? Because we have such close ties in particular to Indonesia, we have a trade agreement. I think there are ways that we can influence their decisions and how they actually treat their environment. Countries that have uh, little resources to do with themselves can, can thrive on their own. So we need to work together by putting, putting our governments together, putting our people together, 
uniting our messages and strengthening one another to, to deal with this issue. Is about a recent UN report that found that the emissions from beef and dairy production exceed those of all of the world's transport combined, and this includes aeroplanes. As Miss Earth Australia, what would you do about this alarming fact? There's so much more out there that we can get our nutrition and our fuel from. So why not start raising awareness? And as Miss Earth Australia, I would do so. I would use social media as a major, major platform, which I enjoy using, and I would try and reach the younger generation so that in the future, we have a better Earth. Because at the end of the day, it's a beautiful Earth that we live on, and we want these creatures to be around for our future generations. And also by stopping and cutting back on this, we will also be protecting our environment from the pollution as well in the air, the ocean, so we'll have healthier air to breathe and everybody can live a much more healthier, happier life. Yes, if you're crowned Miss Earth Australia tonight and have the opportunity to travel to any country in the world of your choice to advocate your cause, where would you go and what would you do? I would actually travel to America. I think the obvious obesity crisis that's going on in the world uh, can be changed over there in particular. I um, would want to go to Nepal, create what, tell them what Miss War is all about, you know, create awareness, educate the youth and educate the locals about the environment, about environmental issues. Um, so my place to go is Nepal and I think working in partnership, that's the way I will go. Coming in number four. Uh, can we please have a massive round of applause for Tani? <laughs> Coming in number three, we have Jeannie. <laughs> Coming in number two, did an absolute exceptional job. We had Lindo. Okay, the winner of Miss Earth Australia is Diana. Opportunity. I promise to give you an excellent reign. I will do my best and I will work diligently every day to be the best Miss Earth Australia that you can imagine. So now a lot of the girls here have got a lot of um, campaigns and a lot of advocacy that are really close to their hearts. And what we want to do at Miss Earth, we want to get out there and we want to let the public know that, that these girls aren't just about the beauty, there's a lot of brains there too. And, and you know, most importantly, you know, we're, we're pretty down to earth uh, at Miss Earth. So I look forward to seeing you in 2016 for the next pageant. See you there.